Woo! All right. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back. It is Jeff again coming to you with some more Mario Maker on the Wii U. And I've got a controller this time as well. Hopefully make things easier so I'm not using that big game pad. Uh, it's been a little while since I played. A couple days have been busy. And Seth Bling in the meantime has come out with a couple more levels, including a one screen puzzle three and one screen puzzle four. So this is going to be really entertaining because I have not seen anything about these ones. Maybe starting from scratch and I figured you guys could come along for the ride. So let's try these one screen puzzles right now so whew. 204 clears out of 33,000 a 0.6 percent clear rate so i gotta get the used to these controllers as well as figure out what we're gonna do here so there's my jump there's my spin jump and i have to use this okay well that cloud is gone Wait, why would those guys die let me take a scope out of this level I obviously will die with that. I, I should have realized that. Um, let's. Are these guys gonna die if they just come off this end anyway? So they will. Pow has happened. Okay, so. The one lives. I can't break through this. So obviously it needs to be something with that beetle early on. So I need to do something. I can't pick this pow up. Okay, I got in there. So maybe if I go over here, they're gonna be still alive, right? <laughs> the one guy looks like he has zeros for eyes. That's kind of funny. Um, I can't pick these up or do anything with these. I didn't make any pows like thwomp over here. So somehow I need to get this P block to release that shell that killed the pow, which I didn't want to happen. Um, I can't get these guys to move back to the right, huh? They just move left and that's it. So knowing that, pretty sure I just need to start over here and he won't move at all anymore. Why won't he move at all anymore? What's causing him to move in the first place? Let's get back to the start. They just move. If I just stand here, what happens exactly? Oh, okay. They continue moving on their merry way. So that pow can be protected by that cloud. I have a feeling that cloud is important somehow. I need to go get them to open that pow up for me, though. It's, I need him to open this first, actually. So basically... I now move out of the way. Okay, once they go down, they're done. So I need the three of them. Okay, I know exactly where I need the three of them. Because I'll need one of them. Oh, they'll still keep coming down. That's right. Uh, still, it, it doesn't matter. I still need the three of them in specific areas. So I need like one of them right there. I got to watch out for that. That's going to be a little bit difficult to navigate now. I need this guy here. Oh, I need the other guy to the right some. So that one on the right... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I think he was still going to do it for me. So, okay, I, I get the, the concept that I need these guys in these three different locations. Oh, I can probably get that guy to do his thing over there. So he's not going to move anymore. So let's start this over. I'm, I'm understanding this. I'm understanding. This, this part of it, and then the rest of it I'm going to be up for question, because I could probably get him. Oh, so you can't get him standing at the edge. It's a little bit too far away from where it needs to be. So i got to start with this one on the left. So probably about right here will trigger him. That's fine. Let me get out of the way. Look at these guys, and how can I make the one trigger here? And then get out of the way. And I got to make the other guy trigger all the way at that end. Oh, I wasn't running. Why weren't you running? How do I make that guy trigger at the end in just the right spot? I would rather have him... So if I stand here... 
So I can stand on the power. That's a good unit of measure. I need that guy to be on the very far right. And I don't know quite how to get that one in the right spot. I'm going to... If I run... Okay. Thought I could run and have that thing work, but I'm wrong. I'd probably run and have that first guy... Basically, I should just go get this guy, like, on the downswing first, so I have time to get over there and get him. So that guy's in the right spot. Now, how do I go about getting this guy over there? I'm going to let him do a swing back real quick. i got to follow slowly behind. That's going to be really difficult to do. I'm not sure what Shoot. Too far. I'm not sure what this cloud is for. I'm pretty certain that's needed though. So I definitely don't want them both in the same spot. That was so close. I could probably still do it with that beetle shell though, actually. So, I've successfully stopped these guys. Let's go get this beetle and see what we can do here. Let's see if I'm coming close at all. So that'll give me him. Oh god, why I wasn't even paying attention. I was not even paying attention. I need to either obtain this cloud or obtain this pow. How would I obtain that again okay because I need to take the oh you know what did the pow take the pow didn't take out those chompers I don't believe so what's gonna take out the chompers I don't know why I just jumped up there I was like so focused on other things I wasn't even looking at the thwomp anymore I guess in theory, here we go, let me, god dang it, um, I'm wondering if I'm thinking about this incorrectly actually, because that P block I can do kind of all at once, I want to know what happens to him, so now he's set up and ready to hit the POW block, if he hits the POW block, what does happen when he hits the power block? It does kill those chompers. Now here's my conundrum. I can't... I can't jump through that spiky area. I would need something on the spiky area. I can get a hold of this beetle shell right here. The thwomps can't help me over there. They're like trapped on top of each other right now. Um... Hmm. 
I need to keep that one guy going, I believe. Until I hit that P switch. Shoot! So I need to get in here and get this P switch. I think I need to get this P switch all the way back over here while that one thwomp is still doing his thing. So I need to get him down to get this guy. And then... I just... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think this takes some, like, perfectly timed precision stuff. to go. Ugh. Shoot, I got I didn't hit the perfect jump and get out of there in time. Oh shoot. Oh, I thought I triggered that guy and I didn't. Ah, oh, see, I couldn't get up in time now. Can I do this really fast, really fast? Okay, I can get that second one actually if I time it just right. And I think I want to try to do that. So wait, you can get that second one then, huh? That cloud is giving you passage one of the ways. So I got that. So I almost think I need to get him down on this cloud like. Oh, come on. Why was I too close? Oh, wait. That, that, oh, that's going to work, actually. If I can. Oh, no. And if I had just run through, that would have worked. not be right on this thing. This little delay is actually extremely helpful to get that guy. Okay. I 
gonna get you on the cloud. So then I need to take you and essentially put you down in such a way where I can, I think I need to hit you. I was trying to do it so it hit when he was in the air. And that wasn't quite right. Not quite right. Can't get around that. Are you serious? I think he's gonna fall too fast for me to be able to do that. I think I'm on the right track. I'm not exactly pulling this off like I need to. I feel like I kind of glitched that a little bit, which might be okay. Perfect. So now I have it. Oh, I need to go get those. Oh, they're gone. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to drop that there. Because now I don't know... I can't believe I just ran into that. When I do that, like, okay, I, I kind of understand it's a little bit of an exploit, but I can I can utilize that. I'm okay with that. Kind of forces him over so I can get this and get out of here and go over here. You're gonna hit this cloud, which leaves me safe passage to get this guy. I mean, I can't just throw this up there right now. Oh. I mean, if I'm over here with this... Oh, here we go! Here we go! This has gotta be like the pristine perfect jump when this guy gets back up, though. Oh, come on! That's it! That's it! I know this is it. I know that this is it. I have solved you. Puzzle number three. It's all about timing. Perfect. Give myself that extra courtesy gap. I'm good. Oh no! That wasn't the courtesy gap. Oh, that's enforcement of the side. This time. Well, crap. Maybe that'll force him? No. I guess I had him, I had him too perfectly positioned. Well, I guess I'm dying. It doesn't work. Really It's 
and force him to the right. And to get that, him in there just perfectly. Oh, I gotta do it when he's down. Ah, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Shoot. Shoot. Oh, shoot. That, that was... Oh, God. I hesitated. I need to go. This thing's all about timing. on top again I did get to the end again hopefully if I don't screw something up okay there we go with the pow I almost just fell I wonder if it's better to bounce it back and forth as opposed to having a walkie guy. <gasps> Woo! All right. One screen puzzle number three is complete. Time to roll up our sleeves and get into number four.